Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, the senior class of 2012 respectfully, respectfully ask that you remain seated during the processional.
the presentation of callers, our national anthem, and the invocation. members and especially the class of 2012. It has been a long journey but we did it. I believe that we have God to thank for that bringing us here today. With that being said, please let us pray. Dear God, thank you for the safe trip that everyone has had to be here on this joyous event. I pray that you will watch over us as we are about to enter the world as individuals and guide the paths that we travel. I pray your hand will be upon us and you will help us in every obstacle that will be thrown at us in our lives. God, I thank you that it has been your will that we all be here today as the class of 2012 and that you have helped us through the bad times and been with us through the good. I pray for bright futures, phenomenal lives lived, that we may be able to serve you as well as great jobs. Thank you for the memories we have and the memories we still have to make. Thank you for parents, teachers, and coaches who have impacted our lives so greatly in a way that we will never forget. Thank you, Lord, for all that you have done in our lives, and thank you for all that you still plan to do. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. That was Lindsay Sanson. Thank you, Lindsay. You may now be seated. Our program would indicate we will now hear from our top academic students. First, we'll hear from our salutatorian, Seth Nathaniel Hamrick. Well, I'm not really great at public speaking. But thank you all, students, administration, friends, and family for joining us on this day of great celebration. Today is a day that both ends and begins great journeys in life. I cannot imagine taking this high school journey with anyone other than all of you who have gathered here today. Fellow students, I give you my congratulations on making it this far. To all of you, I say thank you for the help, 
guidance, and support that has brought me here today. I give special thanks to my family and close friends. Coming to high school was a new experience for all of us. I remember us all walking in confused, not, wearing, not knowing where to go for a week. Of course, that still happens to some of us. But nonetheless, we all made it here. I was very lucky to have the people I do surrounding me. Thanking everyone who has helped me would be impossible. My family has always been so supportive and pushed me through everything. My friends supported me and helped me in times of struggle. Many of the memories I've made with you will be the highlights of my life. All of you will remain a part of me forever, truly the happiest time in my life. This basketball season is a great example of all of this. I had so much fun achieving goals and hanging out with everyone on the team, it was truly an enjoyment. And I really do think our, state, or our team can win the state ping pong title as well. But not only the team, but the support our team had. I will never forget the amount of fans. It was incredible. That is something I couldn't experience anywhere else, and it was truly amazing to be a part of. And that is just one example. However, all of us are different. But however you made it here, just know that you are strong enough to make it here, whatever the struggles. When times get tough in the future, because we know that they will, just remember you are strong enough. Graduating high school is something to be proud of. No matter how you feel about high school, be proud that you succeeded. And no matter how you feel about your experience here, know now is the time where you become yourself. This is, as I said, the beginning of a journey. Choose paths that you wish to, and don't let anyone direct you away from your goals, because you have the power to aspire to anything you want. I know that the class of 2012 will be successful in life after seeing it firsthand for four years. So thank you, and good luck. And now we'll hear from our valedictorian, Kelsey Lee Hine. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for coming out to celebrate such a special event with my classmates and I. I really don't know what is expected out of a valedictorian speech, so I hope this isn't too miserable on everyone. One evening while I was watching the CMAs, Brad Paisley was accepting an award as he quoted Jimmy Dickens. If you see a turtle on a fence post, it had help getting there. Once I heard it, I knew that it would be my senior quote because I have achieved many accomplishments during my high school years, having the opportunity to give this speech being the biggest. But I could not have achieved any of them without the help of some very special people. There is no way I could recognize every person that has played a part in my success, but there are a few that I cannot go without recognizing. My parents have been my biggest supporters, and there is no way I'd be standing where I am today without them. I knew that they always expected me to do my best, and I never wanted to be a disappointment. They constantly encouraged me to dream bigger, and I cannot thank them enough for what they do. After 13 years of homework, my mom was still asking me on the last day of my senior year if I had any to do and if it was completed. The rest of my family has been wonderful as well. They, be they believe in me more than I could ever believe in myself, and they provide me with so much love. Many may not realize it, but we are very fortunate to live where we do because of the close relationships established by the smallness of this community, like filling the gym during the boys' basketball sectionals and regionals, or the huge crowd that came to Riverside High School and cheered on the cheerleading squad at competition. One should never doubt that they can depend on the citizens of this community to be there during time of need. And I feel that it goes that way in the school system as well. So many teachers have helped me become who I am throughout my 13 years of school. They have been there to inspire, enrich, and encourage. Every teacher I have had has helped me in some way, and I am very thankful for them. Many believe that Webster County does not provide children with a good education. However, I will be the first to tell you that there are teachers in our school system that will provide any willing child with the best education possible. We are very lucky to have the unique group of teachers that we do. There is one teacher, however, that has went above and beyond his duties as an educator. Mr. Ken Johnson has helped and educated me more in the five science classes that I've taken to him than I could imagine. He always pushes me to my full potential and has encouraged me to create my own luck. That is something that I will always appreciate and take with me during my future journeys. Every school system needs more Mr. Johnsons, and I'm very thankful that I've had the opportunity to be one of his students. 
last but not least, to my classmates. It is to you guys that I owe my biggest thanks. You provided me with the company the last 13 years that without I would have been bored to death. I have been blessed with so many incredible friendships that I would not trade for the world. The ones I've lost and the new ones I've gained, I'm thankful for them all. I feel like there is so much to say during the last time that we are all together. After this, we are on our own to become whatever we have always dreamed of. It is time to grow up and assume responsibility for ourselves. What we're wearing on the first day of school, whether we let her in our sports, who we sit with at lunch, or trying to hide our cell phones so we don't get ISS is no longer important. We are now faced with the real world, college or a job. I wish every one of you the best in achieving your dreams. You are capable of doing whatever you desire, and that is partially thanks to the education we have received here at Webster County High School. I have a plaque in my room that reads, whatever you are, be a good one. No one is choosing the same path, and everyone has created their own definition of success. So I hope that each of you achieve your own success and happiness. I want to thank you all again for providing me with so many years of wonderful memories that I'll always cherish. Good luck with your future, and congratulations to the class of 2012. We honor those two for their academic record, but uh, their character and how they conduct themselves, I would compare against any graduate walking against, and many of their classmates, walking over any stage this, uh, in this country this, during graduation. To the class of 2012, as it should be, graduation, far from being an end, is a beginning of all your tomorrows. Over the past several years, you have worked and studied, practiced, played, grown, grown mentally as well as physically. And now you are here and you are ready to begin your lives as members of the adult community. For some of you, that will mean a job and responsibilities of family living. For others, this will mean college and further years of study and preparation. Whatever course your future takes, it is my sincere hope that you will look back on your years here at Webster County High School as having prepared you to meet and deal with the challenges that life will present. On behalf of myself and the faculty and the staff of Webster County High School, I wish to each and every one of you the happiness of a productive life, the respect of your fellow human beings, and the love of your family. The best of luck and congratulations to each of you. And with that, it is now time for us to present the class of 2012. Kelsey Lee Hines. Morgan Leanne McCoy. Seth Nathaniel Hamrick. Christopher Todd Miller. Lindsay Nicole Sanson. Taylor Paige Cosner. Angelia Shayna Bogus. <laughs> Isabella Hope McDaniel. <laughs> Megan Nicole Ryder.
Morgan Rochelle Rexroad. Daniel Seth Carpenter. Amanda Lynn Bogus. Destiny Shea Westfall. Renee Joe Mackey. Charles Cordell Swisher. Seamus Hunter McCourt. Dancy Elizabeth Howes. Levi Justin Stout. Mitchell Kyle Short. Destiny Lee Stout. <laughs> Jamelia Ellen Udis. <laughs> Brittany Lynn Claypool. Justin Eugene Wall. <laughs> Jefferson Lambert Ashcraft II. Brandon David Wamsley. Dakota Lee Short. <laughs> Stephen Lee McCartney. Todd Morgan Brown. Misty Renee Holiday. <laughs> Allison Marie Clevenger. <laughs> Brittany Ann. Bender. Ray Mason Holiday. <laughs> Jessica Lynn Garvin.
David Colt Clutter. Brendan Michael Rumney. Heidi Lynn Gum. Cody Allen Short. Aaron Elizabeth Bean. Connie Marie Williams. Danielle Janae Williams. Dakota Joe Combs. Miranda Paige Sanson. Larissa May Squires. Aaron Lee Schrader. Chelsea Elizabeth Rule. Sandra Dawn Hall. Whitney Nichelle Hoover. Samara Brooke Dempsey. Barry Lee Price Jr. Alexandra Yvonne Boggs. Dustin Michael Boggs. Nicholas Trent May. Haley Nicole Short. Colton Lee Coger.
Ashley Brooke Henkel. Alicia Marie Swecker. Mercedes Lynn Coger Beakley. Sierra Jane Russell. <laughs> Rosanna Virginia Taylor. Heather Elizabeth Coger. <laughs> Wesley Owen Beal. <laughs> Jacqueline Mikkel. Hamrick. Brandon Stephen Taylor. Michaela Georgine Quinn. Carly Nicole Cobb. Justina Janelle Jordan. Edward Lee Payne Jr. Sierra Jade Heiss. David Allen Dixon. Andrew Lee Valour. David Elijah McCord. Zachary Leroy Sims. Autumn Nicole Perrine. Desi Michelle McCourt. Jimmy Lee Stiding. <laughs> David Wayne Bogus Jr.
Alexandra Nicole Schmidt. Jackson Anthony Bennett. Caleb Jeffrey Hamrick. Trisha Sue Clark. Ashley Nicole Lynch. Justin Michael Williams. Jeffrey Clyde Hamrick. Shelton Bradford Hamrick. <laughs> Eric Michael Cochran. Bradley James Bright. Andrew Sampson Davis. Roy Donald Brooks. Aaron James Gillis. Devin Grant Walmsley. Richard Lee Garvin II. Isaiah. Paul Hamrick. Marlena Nicole Williams. Mary Beth Eubank. Eric Edward Bean. Lindsay 
Rebecca Smith. Ashley Dawn Short. Samuel Kyle Sill. And Daniel Patrick White. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the class of 2012. We'll now ask... Oh, not quite. Dr. Martha Dean for the declaration of graduation. I think the celebration began just a tad short of the end. However, I won't make this long. By the powers vested in me, by the state of West Virginia, in the laws of West Virginia, and by the Webster County Board of Education, I hereby declare that you are graduates of 2012 from Webster County High School. You may now move. One more order of business. We ask that you remain standing. This 2012 graduate, Lindsay Sampson, brings us the benediction, and we ask that you remain standing for the recessional. Again, Lindsay Sampson with our benediction. Dear God, we come to you one last time this evening to thank you for all that you have done. I pray for a safe night and safe trips home, that the angels will watch over us and they will keep us safe. I thank you for all the people who have traveled here to be here this evening. I pray that you will bless the lives of everyone in this building far beyond their wildest expectations. I pray for those of us going to college to have wonderful journeys and help with the cost of the living up there because God knows it's expensive. Um, I pray that we will come out with great degrees also. God, also, we want to thank you for the people going into the workforce, that they may have great jobs and good lives and wonderful futures ahead of them. Lastly, Lord, please watch over everyone in the military. Please keep President Obama knowledgeable and our country safe. Once again, Lord, we just want to thank you. Amen. Congratulations. I want to say here, now, as we leave for our recessional, not in my script here. I want to thank everyone for coming and have a safe trip home. Graduates, as you leave, get on that carpet because that stuff is slick. <laughs> Mr. Shardiger. <laughs>